What is going on lads and welcome back to the rarest players on FIFA 14. If you guys missed the first two episodes we had some crazy players like Spurs Bale and then some fuck ups from EA in the last episode so I'll try and leave, remember to leave a link in the description down to them but if you don't you can just go onto my channel and there the last two videos I made if you did miss them. With regards to this one if you guys could absolutely smash the like button that would be awesome for me. If we could hit 500 likes that would be absolutely quality as I think we have done that and come close to doing that on the past two videos which is absolutely quality. It really does help my channel out and if you guys want to see a lot more videos like these then please do go and smash that like button. As well if you know any other rare players I know all of the ones where it's kind of just they've gone out of packs any crazy ones where they've been transferred to two clubs within a week or so or ea have messed up or something like that please do drop them down in the comment section i'm aware of the wolfsberg alan out of it but i don't think i can actually get hold of him i think he was an xbox only kind of thing the same as the spares gareth bale but let's move on to this video now if you guys want to build this team that is in this video it's not too expensive or if you want to go and pick up any of the international man of the matches or anything like that there is a link down in the description to UT Coins for you. You can use the code AJ3 to get yourself 5% off. And with the game coming to an end, coins are starting to get cheaper. So if there's any players you wanted to try out throughout the whole of this FIFA and haven't had the chance to do yet, now would be the time to do them. Or, of course, you can go and get yourself some of them crazy man of the matches. If you want to go a little bit cheap, Sanchez is about 300k. If you want to go mental, I think Ian Robbins is about 3 mil, which is just absolutely stupid. But let's move on and have a look at our two rare players that are actually going to both be from the same team. In the Serie A, it's going to be a Serie A silver of a squad and I think the team that they play for is pronounced as Cagliari but I am not too sure but we're just going to go out and put him in now and it is this guy Adam. he is a 69 rated goalkeeper who used to play for Real Madrid according to his Wikipedia page he was part of the Real Madrid first team since 2010 but he only played seven times so they basically terminated his contract and this guy moved to the city to play for Cagliari and he played two games for them before he got fed up and just thought fuck this I'm going back to Spain and he went and signed for Real Betters instead. So not too sure how that can even happy, happen. Maybe him and Cagliari just decided to mutually terminate his contract. He didn't like it there or something like that. But he played two games for them. He went into PAX on the 30th of January and came out of PAX. Got a Betters transfer card on the 7th of February. So he's in FIFA for two weeks. And that means, as you can see, for one week, sorry, I can't even do maths now. And it means, as you can see, there is only two of them on the market. It's two cards, one going for 3k bin bid sorry that no one has bid them and one going for just under 10k so not the most expensive as rare players but very rare all the same our next rare player is going to be his teammate and it is this guy ariodo or something like that i'm not too sure how you pronounce his name i am absolutely terrible about pronouncing italian stuff so i've probably butchered the team name and i've butchered that guy's name there but he is extremely rare as well and he's a little bit of a more simple one just one of them ones where he moved teams and he went out of packs he moved to another team in the city whose name again i am not going to pronounce because i would just absolutely butcher it so not a massive one not a crazy thing happening like that literally just not many people had this guy he moved to a new team he's been out of packs for a while and there's just not many of them on the market if you search on the market you can see there is absolutely zero of them i was picked up the only one that was available when i searched for him i think i got for 1400 coins which isn't too bad for a rare player but none of that crazy rareness and stuff like that literally just a guy who hasn't been in packs for a while and nobody's really kept hold of put him on the market he's actually a decent player he's got a high defensive work rate and a low attacking work rate which is very good 74 defending and 72 heading for a silver is pretty good as well but as you can see he's just not about very much it doesn't really affect the game as you can just use his other normal city card playing for his new team so nothing absolutely major unless you wanted to get a link to that adan guy but he is just another very rare player, so they are our two rare players for this episode so far. One absolutely crazy one, and one just a guy who has left the pack. So what we are now going to do is I'm going to wave my magic wand. The team is going to come, and we are going to have a look at who I have built around these guys. So, at centre-back, we have got this guy called De Mayo. 80 heading, 72 defending, 72 pace, and about 90 strength on a silver. Makes this guy an absolute fucking tank. and One of the best goal defenders that I have used. Best silver defenders in this game. Anyway, paired up next to Jonathan, 84 pace is all you really need to know about him. And then over on the opposite side, we have got a guy with 92 pace. So that is basically why we went for our fullbacks. If we move up in front of him, we are going to have Iterbe, who once again is there simply for the absolute blister and pace. We have got at centre mid this guy Pedro Obiang who decent all-round player actually picked him because he's one of the most all-round silver players in the city. 73s across the board apart from his shooting and his pace is just about under but we're not too bothered about that. What we're interested in is a 75, 72, 73, 73 quality stats there to make an all-round pretty decent up and down defensive midfielder so I would recommend using him if you are building a Serie A silver side. 
Over on the right hand side, we have got Fet Fat Cedis, a FIFA 13, FIFA 12, absolute legend, but didn't really get too much out of him in this team. Probably more suited to right wing. Centre attacking mid, we have got Marquinho, again, a very good player. You can pick up his other transfer cards still in this video if you really do want to, but I just had this one in my club. He's a little bit more expensive, so you're probably best going for the transfer. We've got Popper, Krista Popadopoulos or something like that pairing up. Absolute quality player. Used them before and he's managed to bag me a goal every other game, which is pretty decent. And then this guy up front, Moscadelli, looks like Jesus. He's got a high defensive work rate, but somehow has still managed to bag me eight goals in nine games and get five assists as well. So this guy is an absolutely brilliant player and one of my favourite strikers, especially with Silver so far on FIFA 14. So that is the team, lads. I am not going to show you guys any goals because you didn't seem to be too bothered about it last time. You just wanted to see the players and the squads. If you are, though, pop it down in the comment section and that is something I can bring back for next time. I'm always open to your guys' criticism and changes and stuff like that as I am just making videos for you guys to enjoy. So let me know what you guys would enjoy the most. Apart from that, like I said, if we could hit 500 likes, that would be absolutely epic. If you are new yet, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Pokemon FIFA will be returning pretty sharpish, so look out for that one. I am currently working on making that. Pretty exciting stuff there. But apart from that lads make sure you subscribe if you're new like i said thanks for watching and i will see you next time